Margaret, please don't do it. Don't kill me, please. Torgut, just get away from me, please. Please don't do this. God, you mean I couldn't even kill myself? What a pathetic man I am. I should be dead. I should die. Will you help me, my friend? I beg you, help me. Please help me die. I can't be any more disgraced than this. Please. No one's here to see anything. Nobody will accuse you. You'll be blameless. Kill me. Why do you want to die so much? I can't go to prison at my age. I just don't think I can handle it in there. I want to die and be saved from this. You can't die anymore, Torgut. But why? But why can't I die? Because you have already died, brother. You cannot die again. No. I couldn't. I couldn't even manage to die. Please help! Don't scream! Don't scream! All right, don't scream. Look, I promise I won't hurt you, okay? Is he dead? He's dead. What happened here? The guy just threw himself off of that balcony. I didn't do it. I didn't kill anyone. This is so stupid. Why would a man kill himself? People don't have any sense left. This man killing himself like that. Then why doesn't everybody who has troubles kill themselves? So stupid. If he doesn't have pity on himself, he should have pity for the ones he leaves behind. What a worthless man he was. Shame on him. You do this, right. and you do that, Move and then aside, you jump please. off the balcony to escape from what you've done. Excuse me. Out of the way. Move, please. People, please, please, move. He killed somebody, and then he just jumped off the balcony. I'm telling you, he killed somebody and then he just jumped off the balcony. God help him. I don't understand stuff like this. Why would a sane man even do something like this? To kill himself is one thing, but brother, there's something beyond this world. Aren't you afraid? Don't you think about it? No, no. It's not like that. Listen to me. Listen! Is he dead? He is man. How could somebody do that? Good lord. No, I haven't died. No, I haven't. Look, I'm not dead. I didn't I die. Didn't die. Die, die, die. I changed my mind. I won't kill myself now. I accept whatever happens to me. I'll rot in jail. They can put me away forever if they want. I can't be any further disgraced. I learned my lesson. You wanted to die a little while ago. What happened? What changed in an instant? You heard what the people were saying there. It's not right for a man to die like that. How would it have been good for you to die? It's better to die with a clear conscience. And what is your conscience like? It's not at peace. 
I've left a lot of troubles behind me. Why did you live a troubled life? When you forget you're gonna die, you don't understand life completely. You walk on a slippery slope when you forget you have to give an account later. When it's like that, you will slip and fall in any case. That's right. That's how it is. Satan flows inside mankind like the very blood in his veins. He latches onto his weaknesses, which he cannot control, and removes a man's awareness that he will have to give an account. He created your troubled life. But I'm really not a man who could be punished for these things. Once, I was a good loving father. I was a good son throughout my life. I was a good husband. I never crossed my faith. I was honest in my business dealings. And everybody loved and respected me. Then they say it can be My dear friends, I have accepted Turgut's request for retirement unwillingly. I would have refused it if I could have, because no administrator wants to lose an employee like Turgut, an honest, honorable co-worker who is loyal to his job, his work, and his colleagues. I'm so honored by those words, sir. There's no need to be so modest, Turgut, my friend. Please accept this memory book in the name of all your fellow workers and myself. Thanks. I really appreciate wow. this. Part of me is very sorry to be leaving you, but the time is finally feeling right to take a well-earned rest. Then I told him, you must understand it's time I devoted my entire life back to my family. I'm really glad you said that, Togut. Ooh, daddy dearest. But I'll likely go on working for a couple more months. Getting this girl's wedding together is gonna be even tougher than my job was, I guarantee you. Don't you agree? There's not too much left to do, Torgut, dear. Tomorrow night is the engagement party. The wedding is three months later. It's mostly over. Not much left. Oh, I wanted to tell you something. Why don't you handle this shopping business, just mother and daughter mm -hmm. alone, all right? No way. I won't go anywhere in my life without my daddy. I changed my mind. I'm gonna write and ask them to take me back to my job. <laughs> what is this? And nobody's paying me for this drudgery either. It's like I'm a slave. Too good. <laughs> Meet that. <laughs> hey, Turgut, old pal. How many years has it been? <laughs> How many years since I've seen you? And here we are together again. Are you kidding me, Meat Todd? It's been ten years. It has. Ah, uh, way to stay in touch with each other. Please excuse me, ladies. I just got so overwhelmed when I saw my old army buddy here. Not to worry. No. If you say this is your daughter, I won't believe you, Turgut. It's a leaf, of course, me, Todd. Wonderful. Wonderful. I definitely won't let you leave until we go have some tea together. Of course, if the lady allows. I know. Turgut is a little bit of a henpecked husband. By the way, my showroom is right here. Okay. I am so comfortable now, Turgut. I took a risk and I founded my very own business instead of slaving away for somebody else. Well, I haven't needed anybody's help in my life so far, thank God. But if you ask me what I earned, I didn't earn anything. You have your pension for retirement, Turgut. The pension you're talking about here is nothing. My wife would spend it in a couple of days. You see, this engagement and wedding business takes lots of money. You're coming to the engagement party, aren't you? Your wife's invited too. What I hurt your feelings, old army buddy. Hey, listen, Turgut. I'll make you a business offer. There's an empty shop right behind this one. I'm telling you, we'll make you into an owner of a car dealership. It's less than a year's time, you'll be raking in the cash. Come on, I'll show you. I'll loan you the money, Turkin. You can pay me back, little by little. I'd rather have you there than some stranger. Maybe. Emma, what do you think? Your pension is enough for us, Turgut. You should relax. Why do you want to wear yourself out? 
Look how worried you are. Your husband won't wear himself out. Oh, fantastic! You look beautiful, my so dear. So nice to Thanks. see you all. <laughs> A pleasure. You got a handsome one, Ailey. Congratulations <laughs> to you both. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you're a lucky man there, too. Daddy. <laughs> my son-in-law to be. Congratulations, son. And now it's my turn. Thank you for coming. Congratulations, buddy. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Now, what's wrong with you? Is this an engagement or a funeral? What's up? You know that better than I do, Mitat. Let's not start fighting now in front of my old friend at his daughter's engagement. Would a human being do what you've done to their friend? It's not enough that you've gone bad yourself. Now you have to drag him down. Shut up, woman. Don't go sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Please, excuse her. She's crazy. My wife's brain doesn't work very well. But her mouth does a good job. Uh. Why do you say that, Mita? What do you care, Emma? Why are you coming between husband and wife now? Lord help me. Women, Turgut. Gulsum's just jealous of this woman who's a salesperson in my showroom, that's all. Anyway, are you really going to go into this business now or not? Yes, it looks like I am, Mita. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm behind you all the way. Thank you, thanks so much. Uh, <laughs> Mother? Mother? Mom! Mom! Emil! Mom, can you Emma, hear me? Emma, are you what all right? Elif, please go. Ask them to call an ambulance, quick. Please, hurry. Emil, honey, what happened to you? Torgut, don't leave me, please. It must be the excitement. Emil, I wish you had stayed in the hospital for a few more days and hadn't insisted you wanted to go home for more tests and so on. Torgut, you ruined the engagement. Now you're going to make me angry, Emil. I'm talking about the doctor, about the tests, and you're talking about the party. Don't get mad at me. See, you got mad at me at the engagement, and then... Turgut, what will I do without you here? Once I start this showroom business, you won't have to lift a finger for anything at all, I promise you. And you won't tire yourself out. Turgut, honey, look. You're starting this business with the money we saved for our daughter's wedding. We gave her our word, you know. I hope nothing goes wrong later. What could go wrong? We'll delay the wedding for a couple of months. And besides, it's clear we're going to earn as much as you've saved. Isn't that right? Very well, Torgut. You know that I trust you more than I trust myself. Whatever you want to do, you know I'm always behind you. You're so understanding. Thank God you're not anything like me, Todd's wife. What a grumpy woman she was. Well, I'm sure there was a reason for it. Now you try and get some sleep. Good luck, and may God give you good <laughs> profits, pal. <laughs> Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks. Mother, who is that woman? I have no idea. Now I understand why his wife acted like she did. <laughs> Thanks. The woman's right. Just look at your dad, will you? Mom, dad is so happy. Maybe it's good he started this business after all. I hope so, dear. I hope so. We had to delay the wedding, but it was probably worth it. Why don't you ask your friend here? Hey, Turgut pal. We're going to booze it up tonight. What do you say, huh? Okay, Mitat. I'll ask Emil if it's okay. Oh, come on now, Turgut. Be a man, why don't you? We'll leave the wives at home tonight. <laughs> We'll go out and enjoy ourselves just us guys. What business do they have at a drinking party anyway? Is it right to do that, Mita? Come on, Turgut. The time has finally come for you to put a stop to this repression, my <laughs> friend. Can't we just go out and enjoy ourselves like adults? I swear you're going to lead me astray, Mita. Make sure Ison joins us. That ought to make things a little more interesting. <laughs> then we'll see how faithful Turgut is to that wife of his. <laughs> to your to health, Turgut. <laughs> drink up, drink up, drink up. <laughs> ah, welcome. Hi there. Introduce them, Nergis. Aisun, Turgut. Pleased to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Oh. 
please excuse me. Man, you're falling all <laughs> over yourself there. Get a grip, Turgot. I'm really sorry about that. I didn't mean to. Don't worry, Turgot. It's not important. Of course not. Turgot will get you a new one just like it. Won't you, Turgot? <laughs> Let me just grab my checkbook. <laughs> no, dear. No need to. Excuse me, please. I'll be right back. Wait, Ison. She's a sweet kid, isn't she? Yeah, she is. This weekend we'll go to a bond together. You could come along. Come on, Mita. What'll I say to the wife? Man, how many times are you going to come into this world? Have a little fun, huh? Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. But no, we're married, so we can't. Mm. Give me your phone for a sec. Here you go. Thanks. Look, I'm putting Ison's number into here. No, don't do that, Mita. My wife's gonna see it. Give me a break. You think I'm an amateur? I'm putting a man's name down in here. I wrote I taken, not Ison. Here you go. All right. Uh, excuse me. Some wine? <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Bottoms up. Hey, Mom. Haven't you gone to bed yet? No, I'm waiting for your father. He's not home yet? No, they probably got to talking and forgot the time. He'll be home soon. Go to bed. No, I'll wait up for him, too. Don't be such a little girl tonight. So it's getting late. I soon. I gave your phone number to Turgot, just so you know, okay? That's just fine with me, Mita. It was a lovely evening, thank you. We're still going this weekend, right, Aisun? I don't know. What'll I say to Jihan? You just give him a little money and he'll be quiet. Anyway, according to what Mita told me, that Turgut guy's gonna have a ton of money in just a couple of months. Don't let him get away. Okay, we'll see. Take care you now. Too. So where have you been this late? I'm sick of waiting for you here. It went on and on. Nergis got hammered. Mitat was even worse than she was. You go out at night a lot these days. If you'll have some patience, we'll be rid of our troubles soon. And then we can both go out all night if we want. Please. Here he comes. Mm -hmm. God help you, you mess. Come on now. Why on earth did you drink so much, Target? I drank so what? Am I going to ask your permission? Elif, I want you to put your father to bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what is it, Target? Why are you looking at me like that? Tell me, Target. Hey, You should really dye her hair blonde. Now, where did that idea come from, Torgut? How many years has it been since I colored my hair? Good lord. Black, I'm saying. Color your hair black. Go to bed, Elif. After that night, my whole life changed. 
A moment of neglect cost me my life. It was not truly a moment of neglect. It was the result of a weakness, which could not be repaired by any awareness of accountability. In the beginning, it seemed to me that a couple of drinks were not really all that much. On the one hand, a sense of confidence. On the other, alcohol, which you do not consider important. Whereas, if you had considered alcohol from a divine perspective, you would have understood that it was clouding your judgment and conscience. Yes, I knew that alcohol ruined homes, and it had destroyed lives, but... Remember, when knowledge and faith unite, one learns. Other kinds of knowledge cannot save a person from such hard lessons. Maybe for me it was making me feel like a bold young man again. And I was also earning a little money. I should have the right to enjoy myself a little. The limit of things allowed for man is always sufficient. Forbidden pleasures carry a burden wherever you go, both in the earthly realm and in this place of spiritual power as well. Pleasures taken too soon are more attractive to man. Mankind cannot resist them. When a man resists, he is a man. He is a man because he has intelligence. Uniting intelligence and heart is what defines humanity. Who can resist the pleasures that are taken too soon? Shouldn't we think about this? I should have thought about this, but... I was so confused by this lifestyle that I couldn't turn back anymore. Everything seemed perfect. The business I started was going well. Every day I was earning more and more money. And as I earned that money, I changed. Thank Congratulations you so much. and enjoy it. I hope business is good. Something the matter? Is everything all right? It's nothing. The in-laws are coming over to our place tonight. I thought I'd let you know. All right, all right, got it. Go on, Emil, go on home. I need to take care of business. Well, don't be late, all right? I'll try. You need money? Sure, if you have any. But if you don't, I think I can manage. Of course I have. Why wouldn't I? I'm an entrepreneur now. And you tried to talk me out of it. It's not so bad. Uh, don't be late. Boy, you didn't do the windows on this car. I need you to clean them now. Yes, sir. Hi, Turgot. Oh, hello, miss. How are you doing? Look, Turgot, if you call me miss one more time, we won't be friends anymore. All right, all right. I thought maybe we'd go out to dinner. You know, with Mita, Nergis, and so on. You're so much fun to be with, after all. I can't go out tonight. Sorry, Aisun. All right, that's fine. I guess I'll celebrate my birthday all alone. Uh, it's your birthday? Mm. Well, that changes things. Mm -hmm. He's working so much. I'd say Torgut's probably been working at least twice as much since he retired. We have a hard time even seeing him at all. I wish he could have gotten home a little earlier tonight. She's saying it's hard for us to come down here. It's Thanks. kind of a hike. Elif, call your father and see if he hasn't finished work yet. Make a wish. Uh, uh -huh. uh, good. Uh. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Happy birthday, honey. Thanks. Come on, man. Are you playing with your phone because you didn't bring her a present? From your dearest Mita. Oh, Happy you didn't birthday, have to I do <laughs> oh, thank you. You're so thoughtful. I love it. Happy <gasps> birthday to you, Ison. Oh, I hope you like sweet. it. Oh, sweet. Thank you. You're so kind. Thanks. Let me help you put it on. Okay. Is this guy smooth or what? <laughs> No. He's not answering. How many times have I called? I hope nothing happened to him, Mom. Should we notify the hospitals or the police or something? Bad news comes quickly. If something had happened, we would have heard a long time ago. 
I wouldn't worry, Elif. He must have gotten tied up at work. I'm sure it's business. My father wouldn't do anything like that. If he gave his word, he would keep it for sure. Elif, can you bring your mother-in-law her overcoat? I'm sorry. He must have had some very important business, otherwise Torget would never do anything like this. Emil, don't worry. I'll talk with my parents. I'm sure there's a perfectly reasonable explanation for this. I know. Uh, pull yourself together, Turgut. I can't carry you. I think I need to go home. I definitely can't send you anywhere alone at this hour. You're staying with me tonight. That's final. If you insist. All right. Are we coming back to the <laughs> world again? Are we going to come back to the world again? Actually is a fine thought. When you believe it, it inspires you to live carefully, free of mistakes. Were you truly in love at the start of your marriage? I was. I loved my wife. We were so happy to be married. We said our vows sincerely at our wedding. But if you don't practice continual unity after the wedding too, the beauty which attracted you in the first place will begin to shrivel up quickly, brother. This loss of desirability latches onto his weaknesses which he cannot control. Well, at first, I blamed me, Todd. But then in a way, I sincerely started to enjoy what was going on. You were amusing yourself with people your own daughter's age. What if your daughter had done the same thing? No, no. I would not have put up with such a thing. So then, why didn't you have the same reservations about Iceland? I don't know. What I did was just a little fun, that's all. If a man uses his own measures as a criterion, he confuses important with unimportant. He exposes himself to terrible danger. First, drinking starts to give birth to other vices and still others. After that in line comes the lies. Yes. The lies started to come one after the other. After things like that, people want to try and justify their own sins. They start to find non-existent faults in their wives and in their children. They erase the word repentance from their minds. Finally, they're nothing but excuses and go on like that. They only look for others' sins and try to find some comfort in that. It was like I was sorry, but I couldn't figure out how to go back again. Elif. Elif. Elif, please get up. Come on. My mom. Didn't Dad come back yet? No, dear. I'm going out to look for him. Don't be silly, Mother. Where are you going to look? I'm going to see Mitat and have a look. Maybe he knows. Hey, wait. My phone is shut off. Good Breakfast morning. is ready. Oh, I'm hungry like a wolf. I hope nothing's the matter. What happened? Meet up, where's Torgut? He didn't come home last night. Emil, don't you worry. We'll call him now. Come on. We called him all night, but he didn't answer. Now I think his phone is shut off, and he isn't at work either. Make yourself comfortable. Would you like to drink some tea? No, thank you. I don't want to drink anything. Please. Would you please try and call Torgut for me? There's no reason to if his phone is not working, don't you think? I'll send my assistants out to look for him. But are you sure? Suppose we try. It's not 5-4, it's 5-6. Ah, pardon. Of course it is. It's so early, I'm not even awake. If the phone is not working, it's not working. Ah, it's ringing. 
It's ringing. Oh. Hello? Torgut? Torgut, how are you, honey? Emil, I'm fine. How are you? Torgut, what the heck is the matter with you? I was so worried about you. So just where were you all night? Please, don't even ask. Mitat got really sick. We took him to the hospital. What? What did you say? Yeah, it was terrible. He's still in the hospital. Emma! Uh, Emma! Emma, Emma, is something wrong? What happened? Emma! Emma! Emma. Emma. Hello! Hello! Thank God. You got off easy. I hope you feel better. (laughs) What do you mean, got off easy, Mitat? She almost had a gastric hemorrhage from her nerves. But she didn't have one. We got her over to the hospital in time. Thank you for that, Mitat. Yes, thank you, Mitat. But we can manage from now on. And listen, for the last time, don't even think about the money for this. Let's get these tests done, then I'll straighten it all out with Turgut later. No, there's no need. We can manage. Mitat, how is she? Where have you been, man? It's been two hours. What took you? They just left. I don't know. I was just so ashamed, I guess. Uh, why? Because you went out womanizing one night? Yeah, of course that. I cheated on my wife, man. (laughs) Once in 30 years. Yeah, but once will be enough for Emil for sure. All right, buddy. Don't make it such a big deal. Is she very sick? No, nothing like that. She just had a little attack of nerves, that's all. Don't take these things too hard, pal. Women get so upset. The smallest things are huge to them. I'm telling you, they make you miserable. All right. Your wife will be fine. (laughs) Come on, I thought you had regained control of your life by now. If I'd only known you were scared of your wife. Oh, come on, I'm not afraid. I was worried that something had happened. No, no. What you've got is plain old fear. You can't come to a bond with us again this weekend on account of your crazy fear for her. You missed out on it the last time, so at least take the opportunity this time. Well, since there's nothing wrong with Emil, maybe I am going to have some fun with you then. (laughs) That's my boy. (laughs) Way to go. (laughs) Haluk, why don't you understand? We can't get married until Daddy gets his business organized. How many times have we been over this? But what can I do? My dad chose to set up this new business instead of having our wedding now. Well, how could I stop him? (sighs) Fine, Haluk. Please, let's not argue about this. My mother is so sick. I'll call you later, okay? Bye-bye. Mother, what the heck is dad trying to do to me? Dear, we have to be a little understanding. Your father is not a bad person. Anyway, he's so confused. He doesn't know what he's doing these days. So when's he gonna know? How are you feeling, Emil? What happened to your mother? Dad, where were you last night? What are you saying, Alif? Your mother's not asking, so what's it to you? Mom's not asking you because she's a coward. But I'm not a coward, Dad. Don't get smart with me. (gasps) What are you doing, Target? Get a hold of yourself. I'm in complete control here. You come and instead of apologizing for last night, you go and slap your daughter. And what should I apologize for? Don't you lie to me like that, Torgut. You said Mitat was in the hospital, and I know he wasn't. So? I was out all night. Only one time in 30 whole years of marriage. What about it? So then, is it really that simple, Torgut? Hello there. Torgut? Where are you? I was worried about you. I'm at home now. Can I call you later? Don't call me. Just come over. We're starting the trip. The trip? Didn't Mita tell you about it? We're going to a bond. Oh, right. That issue. Oh, the issue. So I'm an issue for you now, am I? No, I didn't mean anything by it, I swear. And I had such plans for you, too. All right. I'll be there in an hour. I'll be here. Who was that? Nobody. Just a friend. So what friend was that? There's a little credit problem connected with the business. We have to go to Ankara. Do you have to go tonight? Mm Mm-hmm. But where were you last night, Turgut? Why didn't you come home? Why didn't you call? I stayed up waiting for you. 
Didn't you think that maybe your family would be worried about you? You can't be this irresponsible target. What are we going to do about Elif's wedding? Pleased to meet you. By setting up the business, you spent a lot of money and got into debt, and then you made the poor girl delay yeah, her wedding. That's enough. Target, Target, please don't go. Don't go, Target. That instant was actually one of the most critical moments in my life. Either I would stay at home and continue on with my old monotonous life, or I would experience things I never had before and get a little more out of life than I ever had. My life would take on meaning. What makes life meaningful is for a man to realize that he is a traveler and recognize chances, gifts, and graces. Then he both prepares for the next world and pursues a continuous lofty goal in his earthly life. I was aware of all these things. I had not completely lost my conscience. But how can I say this? I'm getting older, and a lot of pleasures have been quickly becoming completely unobtainable to a man like me. How strange. A man can become quite a different person when he tries to excuse his faults. Whereas, the pleasures you were longing for were passing and temporary. Why didn't you search for the permanent ones? Actually, I was completely confused by this. Yes, I was indeed discarding my own values. But in spite of everything, I trusted in myself. I thought I could find a way out. A self-centered man will one day see that the things around him have become the bars of a prison. Now lies give birth to lies. Treachery gives rise to treachery and faithlessness to faithlessness. Very good, sir. I'll come in the afternoon and pick up the money. Okay, I'll see you then. Thank you. Thank you, sir. What is it, Elif? Welcome back, Dad. How was Ankara? Mm, eh, wasn't bad. We had a couple of meetings here and there. We need money, Dad. Mom really needs to have a lot of tests done. She's not well. Mita told me that it wasn't that serious. Dad, will you just listen to yourself here? Why do you listen to some stranger and not me? The man you call some stranger is my army buddy of 30 years. And wasn't he with you guys in the hospital? Daddy... He doesn't know about anything. He waited outside. I was the only one actually inside with Mom. She kept insisting over and over, I'm all right, I'm fine, let me go home. Because we didn't have any money. She has a serious problem with her stomach. Honey, we all have serious problems going on with our stomachs. We're old now. But Dad, how can you talk like that? Elif, I don't have any money right now. Couldn't your mother wait a little bit? But aren't you making any money here? Maybe not. Are you hungry? Or are you barefoot? Why should I explain it to you? It's not me. It's God who you need to give your explanations to. Don't you ever forget that, all right? Mom is very sick, and she's getting worse. And my marriage is in danger on account of your business. Please don't forget that either. All right, I said to the man, I can't pay you this week, but I'll definitely pay you next week, I promise. And still he won't leave me alone. All right, Aisun. All right, baby. Don't cry now. Sure, Turgut, you tell me not to cry, but you should have seen how embarrassed I was. Anyway, do you treat a woman like this over six months late rent? Seriously, what's wrong with them? How much is this debt? Let's say it wasn't all that much this time, and I managed to pay it myself. But what will I do later? I need a house over my head that belongs to me, Turgot, honey. It's just so hard to survive in these rentals. So what do we do then? I don't know. That rat of a landlord mentioned something about wanting to sell this place. Maybe we can buy it. Really? How much did he want? We can figure that out later, baby. After we have some money in our pockets. Everybody else has a house, but I don't. All right, all right. Don't worry. We'll work something out. Really? Are you really going to buy me a house? You bet I will. You can bank on it, Aisun. Don't you think I can? You can, Turgut. You could buy me the prettiest house in the world. But this house is enough. Okay.
Then we'll buy this house. Right now. Turgot? This way our child will grow up in comfort, Turgot. What? Did you say our child? Yes, I'm pregnant. Who is it? What? What? All right, I'm coming. Turgot, where are you going? Emil, my wife, she's had a stomach hemorrhage. They just took her to the hospital. What's going to become of me, Turgot? I'm pregnant. Don't leave me. So, is any place hurting you now, Mom? It's not as bad now. I'm okay. Do you want anything then? No, thank you, Alif. You're beside me when I need you, and that's enough for me. Oh, come on. No crying now. No crying. Look, you're gonna make me cry now. I just can't help it, dear. What can I do but cry? Just look at what's happened to our family. Whoever thought it would get like this? We never guessed it would be like this, Mom. What can we do? It's enough if God doesn't give us troubles that have no solution. We'll be patient, and we'll always support each other. Crying and carrying on like this is no good. Promise me. I promise, all right. I won't cry as long as you are beside me, Elif. But I only want you beside me, my darling baby. <laughs> Daddy, stop. How is your mother? I want to see her. But she doesn't want to see you now. Cut it out, Elif. Get out Forget of my it. way. If you were so desperate to see her, where have you been? Mom's had a very serious operation. Listen, Dad. She's in bad shape here. The treatments are expensive. But you say you don't have any money left. What do you expect us to do? Can you tell me that? We'll work something out. No, we won't. I gave Mom my word. We don't want you to work anything out. So please, just get out of here. Elif! <sighs> How's she feeling? This is what those engagement presents were worth. Oh. I really tried to add something to it, but I just couldn't. I'm broke too. Thank you, Elif. Yeah. Ah, mm. mm. uh, uh, wait! Are you leaving without seeing my mom? I don't know. Maybe later, Elif. Did he really give you all this money? Of course he did. Oh, I cried a little and pulled a couple of tricks, then he gave it to me. This is great. I could pay off part of my gambling debts with this. And you'll take me on vacation with what's left over, right? We'll see. I don't want to hear we'll see. I need a vacation before my new baby grows up. Uh, who could this be? Turkett, what are you doing here? I really need you now, I assume. Hello? <laughs> How rude of me. This is my brother, Chihan. He's the second youngest. And this is Turgot. Pleased to meet you. You too. Chihan's been in a lot of debt lately. He came here to ask for a loan, but I said I couldn't help. I need to be careful. I'm buying a house after all. Anyway, nice to meet you. My wife didn't want to see me, I assume. Why are you worrying about that? For goodness sake, you have another wife here. You won't ever leave me, will you, I assume? What sort of talk is that, Turgot? God forbid. I'd have to be insane to do that. Only, I wish... 
What do you wish? What do you wish, Aisu? Tell me. Turgut, I wish you would divorce your wife, and then marry me. Are you saying that you love me that much? I love you truly more than anything in the world, Turgut. <laughs> so she really said that, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what she said. The woman is crazy about me. But be careful that she doesn't make you crazy, pal. Here, will this take care of your business? It's enough. More than enough. So, what should we do this weekend? Forget about that man. How's your wife? It's not good, Mitat. We'll probably get divorced. Are you out of your mind, Turgut? The poor woman is so sick. I know, but she doesn't want me. What can I do? Her mind's made up. Okay, so if we take her home, when do we have to bring her back? Look, Alif, your mother is seriously ill and unfortunately in an advanced stage. I wish you hadn't taken her away back when we first diagnosed her. I know, but we had big financial problems then. But doesn't your mother have insurance coverage or something? Through your father's work? Please forget about my father now. Tell me what we can do from now on. I think you ought to try to solve these issues as soon as you can. Your mother needs to rest and have very good care now. And be protected from stress and worry. I understand. So for these reasons, take her home while she's a little better and we'll treat her there. Make sure she gets some rest. Being at home should boost her spirits. Then you can bring her back here when you've worked out all your financial issues. We'll resume her treatments where we left off. All right. But will the treatments really help her? Don't lose hope in God, Elif. I see you're up now, Mom. Actually, I can't sleep at all, dear. Not a wink. Oh? Why is that? The doctor had lots of good news. You're going to rest a while at home with me, and then we'll come back. Really? But I don't think I feel quite well enough for that yet. Well, you've been in the hospital for days. When you get out and get some fresh air, you'll definitely be feeling better. Very good. We'll go on home together. Maybe your father will come too. I'm sure the house has to be cleaned up. It's been a while since we've been there. Somebody has to make some food, too. A lot of people will be coming to see us now. Maybe your father will come, too. Elif? Hello, Haluk. Good to see you. I... <laughs> I think we need to talk, Elif. Okay. Of course. Is there something wrong? Yes, Elif. We're wrong. It's your family. You know that I love you, but I don't want to spend the rest of my life solving your family's problems every day. I can't do what your father ought to do, Elif. It's not my responsibility. I put myself in your shoes, and actually I find that you're right. We delayed the wedding as much as we could. Your father's been extremely rude towards my parents. We plan to live together, Elif. But with all this resentment I'm feeling, I don't think this is gonna work. Well, I'd like to apologize for my father, Hello. No, I... Alif. Don't apologize. Your father ought to do that. We tried to be as understanding as we could, but it just can't be anymore. And that's why... I want to break our engagement. I'm sorry. Me too, Haluk. I'm very sorry too. For my mother. For my future. And even for my father. And for you. I'm so sorry about all of this. Here you are. This is for your brother. Are you kidding? No, I'm not kidding. You said last night that Jihan needed money. Oh, Turgut, you're so generous. I don't deserve you. Hey, any brother of yours is a brother of mine. Great. 
Then let me go and find Jihan and give him this money right away. Then we'll spend the night at your place. I can't. I have some business with Jihan. We're gonna go and pay the debt and all of that. You come over tomorrow. Don't make some excuse tomorrow, though. I would miss you too much then. Now, now. Why would I? I'd miss you too. When a man's evil nature starts to tempt him to commit mortal sin, it leaves him neither intelligence nor judgment. It drags a man through the darkest places in his mind, going from mire to mire, with the deceitful bait stuck on the end of an unreachable hook. But I soon seem so convincing to me. Yes. You were hooked, but by your own lust and not by Eisen's doing. So you no longer had ears to hear what was to be heard, nor eyes to see what there truly was to be seen. And in spite of all the years and experiences I've been through, I fell for it. It is dangerous when the ego takes control of a man. However, the emergence of ugly things which have been repressed for years is even more tragic than this. You realize that now. You know it's not always true. That with old age comes greater wisdom, my friend. Hello there, Dad. Elif. Mom's very sick. Well, she's been for a while. Dad, please be serious here. This time she's in real trouble. Wasn't she in the hospital? Aren't they taking care of her? We had to take her home. Because we don't have enough money for the hospital anymore. Why didn't you let me know? I did. But you didn't pay any attention to us. Now that's not fair. I was really busy. With your girlfriend? Don't get insolent, Alif. Say what you were going to say. I don't want anything from you anymore, got it? You've done all that you could do to me. Because of your indifference to us and all of our financial problems, Haluk and I have split up. Did you know that, Dad? My God. Why wasn't I told that? Because you turned your back on us here, Dad. You kept making us put off the wedding. Haluk and his family are human after all, so they got fed up and quit. It's just fate, that's all. It means it wasn't meant to be. Save your little pearls of wisdom for somebody else, Dad. Listen, I want to know if you're coming to see Mother or not. Just tell me. Mom, just try and eat some of this. You've been losing weight. Don't make me tell the doctor on you. All right, look, I'm eating, see? Uh, oh, oh, look. Mom. Mm. Uh, oh, Why are you so stubborn? Oh, oh, look, I've been telling you you should go back to see your doctors. I think we might need to try some new treatments. And if, wait, uh, let your father's hand get a bit better and then we can go. Mother. Oh. Even if Father's hand gets better, there is nothing he can do for us. I'm going to do everything I can to find a solution. There is a solution. Only if I feel well enough. It's on account of my nerves. There's no other reason for this. You're still sick. <sighs> See? I found the solution. Maybe you should have thought of something before, Dad. You should have thought about this before Mother's sickness got so advanced. Stop, Elif, please. Look, Turgut, you're my solution to this. If we could go back to how we were in the old days, there wouldn't be anything left wrong with me. What difference is there between the old days and now, huh? Neither I nor Alif can take care of you like you need. I thought... I thought I would send you and Alif to your mother's place. Your mother and sister can take much better care of you. Are you insane, Turgut? What will I do so far away from home? No, I thought it all over. If you stay there till you're well, it'll be better for you. Dad, will you cut this out, please? I beg you. You want to get rid of me, don't you? You think I'm some kind of burden to you. What do you mean by that, ML? I thought this was supposed to be good for you. I'm just thinking of your good, of your comfort. How easily I lied right to her face. 
whereas at that time the only thing on my mind was ridding myself of the burden of my ailing wife. You said a little while ago that I was running away from what I was afraid of. I wanted to be far away from the thing I feared. Whereas you should have repented to ease your conscience and accepted your wife as she was, brother. But I couldn't do that. I needed some time to think. Then I was going to straighten everything out. So then, your own wife was a ball and chain around your foot? I think my bad nature was the ball and chain. <laughs> Tergat, I hope you're all right. You look like you're daydreaming. <laughs> Come on in. <sighs> so, we haven't done anything fun for weeks. Let's do something this weekend. Why don't you and Nergis go out with us? What, Nergis? That's been over a while. Really? Of course it has. There's a lot of Nergises. How many Nergises have come and gone since then, pal? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind that. What is this us business? Where would we go with Nergis? Is your wife better? What do you mean, wife? I'm living with Aisun nowadays. Really? Why? <laughs> That's just how it is. I bought her a house. You're kidding me. Why? What for? Her brother's been studying here, and he needed a place to live, too. Brother? Come on, man. Aisun's brother? Jihan? The three of us are living together. Turgut, man, you must be joking. Jihan is not Aisun's brother at all. Well, who is he, then? <laughs> the guy's her lover, Turgut. He's her lover. <laughs> Mitan, what the hell are you saying? What is it? What? What? Turga, what is it? Emil. Emil has gotten worse. She's very sick. Uh, Mommy. Please, Mom, hold on. The ambulance will be here in a little while. When we get to the hospital, they'll fix you up right away, I promise. Turgut. Turgut. Where is your father, child? Isn't he coming? Oh, He's coming too, oh, Mom. Oh, He'll be here in a little while. Elif, my sweet daughter, if something should happen to me... Don't talk like that, Mom. Uh, Nothing oh, is going to happen oh, to you. Nothing at all. My darling girl, listen. Your father made a big mistake. Things happen. Nobody's without fault. I'm sure he will be sorry for what he has done to us and Suppose to himself. Suppose he is sorry now. What good will that do? Oh. Look at what's happened to us. We are in a total mess. Our home, our future, everything oh. we have has come to pieces. Elif, whatever you say, he is still your father. Be with him on the day he is repentant. Because I know that of the people he is with now, None of them will support him when that day comes at last. Oh, Mom. Oh. How can you defend him? Oh. He's been my life companion for 30 years. I just wish he knew what those 30 years were worth. I wish he did, too. So where is that ambulance? Oh. Elif, why didn't you take your mother to the hospital? You know the reason better than I do, Dad. Oh. Are you still trying to be smart with me even now? Didn't we teach you any manners, kid? If you could remember what you taught me, it might help you, Dad. Mom! Mom! Mommy, what is it? Mom, please! What will I do without you, Mom? Don't die! She died because of you! You killed my mother! Get out of this house! Get out of here and don't come back! I don't have a father anymore! Get out! Mom! 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 Please don't die! <laughs> so, you bought a house? You bought a car? You made a respectable sum of money here. Now tell me, how are you going to get rid of Turgut? You just leave that to me. It'll be easy. He's not the type to try and strangle me. I hope everything's all right. Well, it doesn't sound like everything's all right to me. Check it out. Uh, 
Turk is... Let go! Let me go! Shut up! Why? Why did you trick me? You ruined my life! I Let believed the girl in go. you! You're gonna break your neck! No! Get back here! Tell me everything! Tell me! My wife died because of you! My family is broken up because of you! Everything is because of you! Why are you accusing me of all this? You wanted it. You came here. You didn't say no. You invited me. I said no. You invited me again. You could have stayed away. You could have resisted. My wife. My daughter. Uh, you walked out on them. Did I drag you here at the point of a gun? You were pregnant. You said we're going to have a child. Stop. That isn't your child, you idiot. Gian's the father. Tell him, Gian. Shut up, Ice. You're gonna drive us all crazy. He's as crazy as he's gonna get. Go to an asylum. You need serious help. <laughs> you are so stupid. I'm gonna kill you! I'll Turgen. kill you! Turgen, get off it, you psycho! You destroyed my life! You all destroyed my life! Uh, I'm gonna uh, kill you! Don't worry, okay? I said all that in anger. It's all a lie. I really love you. I do love you. Have mercy uh, on me. Uh, 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 you had no mercy on me. And I won't have any on you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. No! What have I done? What have I done? Come here. Uh, Target, please don't do it. Don't kill me, please. Target, just get away from me, please. Please don't do this. It's a shame what I did. You're right. It was. It is the tragic end of a journey that started with just a few drinks. It's like the Temperance Society says, drink is the mother of all evils. Yes, that is quite true. It begets things like cheating, prostitution, lying and murder. All of those evils happened to me. It is one thing to read a sign and another to believe it. To know belief is something else again. How many people have come here who have been condemned, not for what they didn't know, but for what they didn't believe in and didn't do? Can't there be salvation from condemnation for me? Salvation? I do not know, Turgut. But whatever you are, if you could have just carried a tiny bit of faith around inside of you, that means you have a very important gain at heart. But. But all the things I accomplished... The reward will surely be paid for the good deeds you did in your life. But you have done wrong to your wife and daughter. Also, you have committed the most dire sin of murder. I lost control of myself for a moment. I hadn't wanted to commit murder. You lost control of yourself long before that, when you started to commit your evil deeds. When you destroyed the values of your conscience, you became capable of murder. So then, is there no hope? There is hope in every human being. But then, your slate must be very clean. The faults which were not cleansed in this world by the power of the will may be expected to be cleansed here by eternal fire. So I... I mean... No! I was actually a good person. In the old place where I worked, everybody talked about how good I was. Me! I promise you I'm a good person. I have charisma. I have respect. I, I just slipped up.
Please, please take this into consideration. If a person's deeds and his behavior cannot earn him forgiveness, his noble family and name and title are of no use here. No, no. I beg you. I have letters of recommendation, too. My records are all clean. Please look at them, will you? And not at some mistakes I made. Life is like a marathon. So what can you do for people who stray from the track before the finish line? Mm -hmm. Let me go back, please. I will be that old turgid again. Please give me another chance. Can't there be another chance for me? The seeds of evil buried in the old turgid brought you to this condition. Why should things be different? When you go back, you will start over being like the old turgid again. But things will turn out the same way. What would change then? Please. I really will be somebody different. Please. Don't close my accounts here. Give me another chance, please. Do not ask me for what I cannot do, brother. I cannot do anything beyond this, Turgut. The ink of life in the pen of power has come to an end. In this great meeting place, stretching to endlessness, no one has suffered injustice or been treated unjustly. If good things have been given, they were given graciously as a favor. I beg you, let me go back to make good my errors. Please, just one more chance. I wish I was a piece of earth and hadn't fallen into this situation. Please, please let me go back. No, no. <laughs> <laughs>